this December, no arrow of sudden death shall be your portion. No arrow of strange disease shall be your portion. See, the God who caused you to see the beginning of the year will make you to see the end of the year. The devil that could not stop you from moving from 2020 into 2021 will never be able to stop you from moving from 2021 into 2022. You will end this year with a blast and stand, start next year with speed. Hey! You won't end this year sluggishly. You end it with a blast. And stand next year with a sprint on your feet. You are just you just you just hit the road running. And it has been declared. This last part of the year shall be for you the best part of the year there are 10 things i want you to see as spiritual implication that you must look out for and put your faith on the line for number one the last part of the year all right let's say it like this the last part of the year dash the 12th month of the year is calculated for great increases on all sides. Great increases on all sides. Job chapter 8 verse 7 he said though thy beginning was small, that is thy January was small, yet thy December should greatly increase. He said he should greatly increase. He's calculated. is designed to greatly increase. If it does not increase, it's not the fault of God. Maybe there is a poverty of expectation. A bankruptcy of desire. He should greatly increase. The last part of the year is calculated to be, is calculated for great increases on all sides increase spiritually increase financially increase in wisdom increase in favor and increase on all sides you believe that say loud amen. amen number two the last part of the year that is the 12th month is designed to be the best part of the year ecclesiastes chapter 7 verse 8 ecclesiastes chapter 7 verse 8 he said better is the December of a year than the January of it. Did you see that? Better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof. The last part of the year, that is the twelfth month of the year, is designed to be the best part of the year. Everyone seated here and everyone connected from all around the world who will receive this get ready it is not just going to be the best part of this year it is going to be the best part of your life the best time of your life so far if you are saying amen shout the loudest amen that is why it is important for accurate understanding of the times for as long as i remember december is my best portion of the year in every realm number three Psalm 65 and in verse 11. Thou crownest the year with thy goodness and thy parts drop fatness. You crown the year. You know what they call the crowning of it? The icing of the cake. To crown it all. He gave him a car for his wedding gift. Somebody's about to receive that. 
to crown it all to crown it all thou crownest the year what is the meaning of that to you that the last part of the year is designed to be crowned with the goodness of the lord thou crownest the year with thy goodness the last part of the year the 12th month is designed to be crowned with the goodness of the lord thou crownest the year the level of goodness from god when will i see the goodness of god i didn't see anything in january i didn't see anything in april march i didn't see anything in october well congratulations you are in that season where you will see the goodness of the lord like never is somebody hearing something at all if you are ready to see the goodness of the lord shout the loudest amen number four esther chapter one sorry chapter nine hmm. chapter nine verse one to three are you ready for this one now in the twelfth month how many month which month is this that is a month other on the 13th day of the same when the king's commandment and his decree drew near to be put in execution in the day that the enemies of the jews hoped to have power over them it was turned to the contrary that it now was the jews that had rule over them that hated them somebody say it turned Ay, 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 ay. Ay, 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 the day in which the enemies of the Jews hoped to execute and eliminate the Jews, something turned. Hey! Something is about to turn in this December. Man, ay, 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 if i stop there it's enough but i can read on all the way all the way all the way verse two uh, the jews gather themselves together in their cities throughout all the provinces of the king ahasuerus to lay hand on such as sought their heart the hunter became the hunted and no man could withstand them for the fear of them fell upon all the people and all the rulers of the provinces and the lieutenants and the deputies and the officers of the king they helped the jews because the fear of mordecai fell upon them your fear will fall upon your enemies in this 12th month in this 12th month you are shouting shout the lord and say amen the fear of the lord is about to fall on the bandits on the terrorists the kidnappers and the killers in every part of the country in this 12th month shout the lord and say amen now jump to jump to verse 5 all the way to verse 10. He said, Thus the Jews smote all their enemies with the stroke of the sword and slaughter and destruction and did what they would, anything they wanted unto those that hated them. And in Shushan, the palace, those who wanted to kill the Jews, the Jews slew and destroyed 500 men in the king's palace and Pashadatta and Dalphon and Aspatha and Puretha and Adelia and Aridatha and Pamashta, Pamashta and Arisai and Aridai and Vajazatha the ten sons of Haman the son of Hamadetta the enemy of the Jews they slew all of them but on the spoil they laid not their hands those who wanted them dead were those who died. What are we expecting in this last part of the month? The last part of the month, the twelfth, the last part of the year, the twelfth month is designed for the reversal and backfire of enemy agenda. Hey, the, re, the, the, the reversal and the backfire of enemy agenda. The reversal and the backfire 
fire of enemy agenda i am anointed to announce here today everyone seated here every agenda of hell wherever they took your name to they want you eliminated they want your family eliminated they want the church eliminated they want to, they want your children eliminated i announce today by the anointing of the lord and the mystery of the 12th month the prophetic and spiritual symbolism of this month those evil they plan for you is reversed and what the devil planned for you backfires it backfires it backfires it backfires somebody shout power you see if you don't know this you just pass through the month and just make the month like a normal month this is where the witch should die for planning to kill you this is where the witch doctor the occultic grandmaster should die for thinking of killing you this is where those who dug the pit will step into their pit somebody shout power look at somebody by yourself say that agenda is reversed and it backfires to send us look at somebody say that agenda of hell just turned it was coming 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 and all of a sudden it arrived at a prophetic word such as this and just and just returned back bam to sender he just returned back bam to sender you will hear news before this month is over even on that same 13th day of the month as it was declared you will hear news this month you will hear news that the people planning evil against you against me against the church of jesus against your family they are not permitted to cross this year into next year they are not permitted to cross the 12th month if you are a believer shout the lord and say amen give him a clap and the loudest shout you can muster they terrorize are be they become the terrorized this month the killer shall become the kill this month the waster shall become the wasted this month the pursuer shall become the pursued this month the hunter shall become the hunted this one somebody shot power If they tell you they are looking for you and they want to kill you and they have put your name on their hit list tell them you are in a prophetic season of spiritual reversals and backfire ah you are in a prophetic season where the enemy is plan is permitted to plan but also should get ready to inherit his plan the enemy is permitted to plan the enemy is permitted to threaten the enemy is permitted to decree but is also to get set to inherit his plan give the lord a 30 second shot of victory listen i have not preached this combination of scriptures on a preservation service in december for 25 years i want you to get ready to see judgmental results that you have not seen in your life to see drastic judgmental results somebody shout power in fact there are people who will die for thinking of you without your notice there are people that will be laid to rest for planning behind you you didn't even know the plan somebody shout power 
Jeremiah chapter 52 verse 31. That is leading us to point number five. And it came to pass in the seventh and thirtieth year of the captivity of Jehoiakim, king of Judah. In the twelfth month, which month is this? 25th day of the month. What do we call that day? He said that evil Merodach, what a name. King of Babylon, evil, evil, evil Merodach. Embodiment of evil. That month, he lifted up the head of Jehoiakim, king of Judah, and brought him out of prison. Stop there. He lifted his 12th month. What is the implication of the 12th month? Number 5, right? The last part of the year, the 12th month of the year, is designed for the termination of captivity. An end of imprisonment. The termination of Agadagalaya. The termination of captivity. If evil Merodach can release person, then I don't know who is holding you. I don't know what is holding you. In this 12th month, whether it is a spiritual captivity, a financial captivity, a marital captivity, a destiny captivity, a career captivity, anywhere the devil kept you in prison, I am anointed to announce you are coming. Ah! I thought somebody is going to say amen like a believer. Every captivity is breaking right now. Every captivity is giving way right now. Every captivity is giving way right now. Every captivity is giving way right now. Somebody shout, I am coming out. 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 And the devil can't stop me. Because I'm in the 12th month. The season for the termination of all captivities. I am coming out. I am coming out. I am coming out. In the name that is above every name. You are out. The spirit husband harassment ends this month. The spirit wife harassment ends this month. The captivity of eating in the dream ends this month. Ancestral curses, they end this month. Generational captivity ends this month. Captivity of barrenness ends this month. The captivity of poverty ends this month. The captivity of addictions ends this month. Somebody shout power! Those are prophetic sounds. Something is breaking. She 
give Jesus a 60 second shout of freedom shout of liberty let us laga dega laga yaga de yada da. Si ya 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 baga da yada. Like peri di yada da. Shala ya 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 bada yada da. Liga da ya 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 ho shala yada da. Let us sit ya 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 ya. That bondage cannot cross this month. It cannot cross this month. That captivity can't cross this month. That imprisonment can't cross this month. Shout the loudest, Amen. Loud most, Amen. Somebody give the king the loud shout of victory. That was not enough. Jehoiakim was king. He brought him out of prison. That was not enough. Look at verse 32. 52. And speak kindly unto him. Okay, let's follow it like that. Number, number six now. Is that number six? Is that number six now? The last part of the year. The twelfth month of the year is designed for strange favors. Favor from your hater. Hey! Favor from your captor. Favor from your oppressor. My, yeah, 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 yeah. And it shall happen. You, you know that the prophet has spoken when the thing he speaks comes to pass. There are, you, you, you have experienced favor from those who love you before. But in this season, people that, 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 you, that hate you and you know they know. People that are oppressors. People who want you dead. All of a sudden, God will touch their heart. Because the king's heart is in the hands of the Lord. Man, yeah, 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 yeah. As rivers of water, as he turns them, we that swear my will. Get ready, people. Favor is coming your way. Favor is coming your way from the camps of your friends, from the camps of those who love you, but most importantly, from the camps of those who hate you, those who have worked against you, those who wish you dead, who want you dead. Somebody stands, shout strange favor. Say it like a strange favor. Somebody give the Lord a shout of victory. When one who wants you dead, say I have a house for you as a gift. Say, come and have your Christmas gift. And you thought it was a Christmas card. And you never knew it was a Christmas car. It was a card that was deprived of the D at the end. When a man's ways pleases the Lord, he maketh even his enemies to be at peace. This is what excites me the most. Read it all. The same verse 32. A king captured and imprisoned in the twelfth month they brought him out of prison spake kindly unto him and set him on his throne above the throne of other kings 
That is called restoration of authority. Restoration of authority, influence, and power. That was number six, right? The twelfth month is designed. The twelfth month, the last part of the year, the twelfth month is designed, number seven now, is designed for the restoration. Now, general restoration first. Then you are talking of the restoration of authority. The restoration of influence. The restoration of power. When the devil took it from you, you thought it was totally gone. You thought you, you, had, you had lost it. You thought it was gone forever. But someone gets ready. Something the devil took from you by force is returning back this 12th month. Somebody's favor is returning back in this 12th month. Somebody's deliverance is returning back in this 12th month. Somebody's integrity is returning back in this 12th month. Somebody's job, a better job, a higher job, you didn't hear what I just said. Somebody's job, a better job, a higher job is returning back in this 12th month. Somebody's opportunity, a higher one, is returning back in this 12th month. How many of you are ready to receive what the devil took from you? Took from you, not even in January this year. Took from you five years ago, ten years ago, fifteen years ago, seven years ago. Took from that open door that was yours that they gave to another person is returning back this month. Is returning back this month. That authority, the power, the influence is returning back this month. Shout the loudest, Amen. This is the one that excites me the most. One of the ones that excites me the most. Verse 33, Jeremiah 52, 33. And he changed his prison garment. Who is ready to pull off garment of barrenness and singleness? And he changed his prison garment. He changed his garment. The, two, the, the last part of the year, the twelfth month is designed for the change of garment. The change of garment. The change of garment. The change of garment means the change of identity. The, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. the change of garment is the change of identity. Is the change of identity. Is the change of identity. Is the change of of identity I am here to announce to somebody this 12th month the way people used to know you shall change you may not marry this year but husband will show up this year because you need to do courtship you know one of the greatest challenges why marriages don't have a future most times is today. People don't know who they are marrying. I heard of a man who saw a lady today and they married, I think, 13 days later in America. Years later, that lady shot him to death. Shot him to death. They said, what happened? She said she was provoked. Shot him to death. Yeah, so, so I'm not prophesying to you and you say, Pastor, I want to marry on the 29th of December because this year must not pass. Why? When did you meet the man? On the 15th of December. <laughs> Why were you doing that? You are the one who prophesied. No. Yes, you can find each other this year, but give it a little time so that you don't marry a stranger. You don't marry one who will kill you. Is God speaking to somebody here? Every evil garment on your body so far, in this 12th month, it shall be roasted by fire. Will you say a believer's amen? 
every prison garment every prison garment every cloth you are wearing anything hanging on your body in the realm of the spirit every identity of infirmity every identity of disease every identity of sickness hanging on your body in this 12th month they shall be roasted by fire and you shall wear a new garment a change of garment a change of garment a change of garment a change of identity shout the loudest amen Look at your neighbor by yourself. Say your garment is changing. 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 Look at your neighbor. Say congratulations for being on ground. What are they? Caucasians with his wife, white man from Europe and his wife, they are looking for a house in Abuja now for the sake of church. You see, I have been looking for this kind of thing for 10 years and I have just found it. We are looking for a house. And there are some on ground who don't know at all what they have. Maybe because pastor is, is around all the time. Then there are some places you can't smell your pastor for three months. He's flying all over the world preaching. But this is the best way to do it. I announce to you today physical members, on ground members, online members, everyone connected related associated with this commission in all our locations everywhere one way you will know that god came your way tonight is that your garment is changing this month hey! your identity changes this month people will look at you and ask you what happened to you what changed something is different about your life something is different about your life shout the loudest amen number nine the man evil merodak jehoiakim i think the name means jehovah is king that was the kind of person they put in prison Jeremiah chapter 52 and in verse 33 to 34. He changed his prison garment and he did continually eat bread before him all the days of his life. For the balance of the life and for his diet, there was a continual diet given him of the, of the king of Babylon. Every day, a portion until the day of his death all the days of his life that was a man who was meant to be killed from prison brought out of prison received favor restored back to his throne placed higher than his contemporaries changed garment and then for as long as you live you are not permitted to look for food hey the last time you struggle for what to eat and where to live and what to wear shall be the last time forever shall be the last time forever shall be the last time forever the last part of the year number nine is designed for the continual release of divine provision and supernatural supply continual release of divine provision and supernatural supplies that was like jeremiah chapter 52 verse 33 to 34 continual release of divine provision and supernatural supply i say again the last time you struggled for what to eat shall be the last forever shall be the last forever the kind of 
supplies you have never seen in your life will arrive your way this December. Those who, who do business and trade in the market and sell, the kind of sales you have made, never made all your life will enter your hands this December. People in the, in the business world or in any form of realm you are, the kind of supplies you have never seen all your life shall look for you this December. Shout the loudest. Amen. Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11. For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, said the Lord, thoughts of good, thoughts of peace, and not of evil, to give you an expected end. An expected end. That is when it is ending, your expectation was not disappointed. When the year is ending, what is that? The last part of the year number 10, which is the 12th month, is designed for the realization of all expectations the realization of all expectations to give you an expected end that is by the time you are ending your expectation is not disappointed i announce here today 2021 is not permitted to come to an end until all expectations materialize until all expectations are realized until all expectations are concretized if you believe that shout the loudest amen if you believe that shout the loud most amen look at your neighbor say get ready it is not over until god says it is over and god will never say it is over until you win Look at your neighbor say, in this game of life, God is a referee and he cannot blow the whistle while you are losing. Hey! 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 Ay, 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 ay. Look at your neighbor say, he will never blow the whistle against you <laughs> it will not blow the whistle and the game is not over until you win will you stand with a shout of victory a louder shout of victory lift your hands and lift your voice give him the praise give him the honor give him the adoration give him the worship the supremacy, the dominion, the rule, the sovereignty. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. What is the key of everything? Matthew 6, 33. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things that pastor talked about, all these things, all these things that the month of December holds for you, all this thing that December has for you, all this protection and preservation we've talked about, shall be added unto you. Don't run up and down running after things. Run after God. 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 Place him first in your waking up in the morning. First in your when you encounter when it is time and money hits your hand. Place him first in how you look and appear. Let him be the first consideration. Place him first in how you relate with human beings. Exercising your conscience to be void of offense towards God and towards man. Lift your hands and give him the praise. Say!